Principal Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Thursday, March 10th, 2022. Number one. Award-winning film director Ryan Coogler has confirmed his arrest by Atlanta police following a visit to his bank in January while filming the sequel to his superhero film. Wearing a hat, sunglasses, and a protective mask, the 35-year-old African-American filmmaker went to the bank in hopes of withdrawing a large amount of money without drawing attention. Officers later admitted in the report Bank of America made a mistake and Coogler was never doing anything wrong. Number two, the first of many verdicts from the hundreds of people charged with joining the assault on the U.S. Capitol was a swift guilty verdict. The Washington, D.C. jury deliberated only two hours before finding Guy Reffitt of Texas guilty on all five charges he faced for his role in the Capitol insurrection. He faces up to 20 years in prison. Analysts believe this will set a strong precedent for the mountain of criminal cases thereafter and open the floodgates for many plea deals from others insurrectionist. Number three, in recent weeks, governors across the U.S., officials at the CDC, and President Joe Biden have announced a new phase of the pandemic. COVID-19 need no longer control our lives. The day before the president's address, California, Oregon, and Washington announced that school mask mandates would be lifted over the weekend, and many cities have recently ended proof of vaccination requirements to enter public spaces. Then last Thursday, the CDC released data showing that According to its new safety criteria, more than 90% of people in the U.S. no longer need to wear masks. Number four, San Francisco, California held its first excessive force trial for an on-duty police officer and the victim was an unarmed black man. According to District Attorney Chelsea Bowden, a jury found Officer Terrence Stangle not guilty of battery with serious bodily harm, assault with a deadly weapon, and assault with force likely to cause great bodily injury. On October 6, 2019, Stengel and another officer, Martinez, responded to a 911 call alleging a man was assaulting a woman. Martinez ordered Dakari Spears, who was on a date with his girlfriend at Fisherman's Wharf, to get over here and face the wall. Stengel hit Spears seven or eight times with a metal baton, including five times while the man was on the ground in the fetal position. Number five, according to a new study, even a mild case of COVID-19 can increase a person's risk of cardiovascular problems for at least a year after diagnosis. Researchers found that rates of many conditions such as heart failure and stroke were substantially higher in the people who recovered from COVID-19 than in similar people who never had the disease. Read more about the effects of COVID on heart health in today's check-in and check-up feature. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Don't give up on the value of true friendship. All right. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central for a special episode of Check In and Check Up for Our Health with Dr. Edward Claremont, Pastor Joe Jackson, and comedian George Wallace. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the American Heart Association. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.